One of the things in my 40 years of working here in the community in various positions of social services was I always needed to know what the resources were, and I didn't have a resource of the resources. There's so many positive things going on in the community, and this way now we're going to be able to share that information. It's going to be a resource that's going to be on a website and an app on your phone. We also believe that we have a commitment to our fellow community partners to make sure that we're doing our part so that this resource network can succeed. The resource network will help local residents because it gives them instantaneous access to a list of all the resources and providers in our county. So I was really excited when the Jefferson County Commissioners agreed to help fund this project. Jefferson County Education Service Center became the partner to make this happen in our community. The commissioners funded it after uh, Beth and ESC asked us and, and told us they felt there was a, a problem, this tangled web we have of services. They thought there was a need and the commissioners agreed. So we funded it, made the money available so that we could do this. It's for the residents of Jefferson County. Uh, the Jefferson County Education Service Center chose to partner with the Resource Network because of the nature of the work we do. Uh, the ESC works with both end users and community service providers, and we witness firsthand the need for such a resource. JCESC serves 10 school districts in Jefferson, Harrison, and Columbiana counties. Jefferson County Educational Service Center proudly provides leadership and services to students, school districts, and other political subdivisions through a culture of collaboration and shared services. I believe there's a need for a website such as the Resource Network because we have so many good services um, that just people don't know are out there. This is going to be more than just a resource network. It's also going to be an opportunity for all the service providers to come together quarterly to meet in the same room and to foster positive working relationships and to share that information. We're also going to be able to identify where the gaps of services are and be able to come together as a community and address those issues. There is power in partnership and certainly power when you gather together as a group. What I found is that when we are in each other's presence, we can put faces and names together, we can have real and honest conversations, we can brainstorm together, we can come up with solutions to potentially problems that we know are easy to fix if we can just talk to each other. The resource network will be very helpful to law enforcement because it'll provide us the ability to answer questions to victims uh, or families uh, where they can get help and show them that there's a lot of help that we can provide and we'll be able to give us the opportunity to show them where it is and, and answer the questions. I think the Jefferson County Resource Network is going to have a positive impact on so many people for residents and professionals. I think there was a time, especially during COVID, when so many people needed to know what the resources were in our community, but where do we go to find them? And it seems like resources are constantly changing. We're very excited about the opportunities that the Resource Network brings and look forward to moving this project forward. This project to me is just the true definition of unity in the community. It's going to be everybody coming together, working together, and being a stronger community. We're actually going to have access now to all the resources and the tools so when people need them or when professionals need to know where to go to help others, we're going to have this information now and it's going to be so accessible on the website and the app.